Kara Golden stumbled upon her idea for Hint Water when she couldn't find a healthy beverage option that her family actually enjoyed. I spoke with her and her husband, Theo, at their home just outside of San Francisco. I'd love to show how you started Hint Water because from what I saw, you were a Diet Coke addict and you were trying to clean up your diet for yourself and your family. And how do you translate that desire to be healthy into now a very successful business? Many of the waters that were out there had sweeteners in them. So I started throwing fruit in water and I found that it was not only getting me to drink more water, but also my young kids. I had looked for this product in the marketplace and really couldn't find it. And so at this point you have three children and you are pregnant again, pregnant or about to find fourth. out you're pregnant. Yeah, yeah. Theo, how do you feel when your wife comes to you and says, let's start a company, as if we don't have enough going on already? Honestly, I was really nervous about it because, um, you know, it's hard to, to launch a beverage company. It costs a lot of money, it takes a lot of time, and doing it while you're having your fourth kid is kind of taken off a lot. But, you know, I also knew that Kara had accomplished crazy things before that, you know, no one thought she could do. So I said, okay, well, I'll do my best and we'll see what we can do. So I decided to try and produce this product and get it on the shelf at Whole Foods, which was our first store in San Francisco. Has there been a time in the business that you have been terrified Has there, or either that you've made a wrong decision or scared of what's to come? 2008 was pretty scary time. We were really small. We went back to our investors and said, look, it's not a good idea to try to grow fast when everyone's deep discounting. That undermines the brand. We're not going to open a lot of accounts, but we're going to take good care of our consumers. Number one, always it's about the consumer because we're trying to help people. And then number two, we take care of our retail partners and always give them a good deal, but never a stupid deal. And you know, we didn't get as much display space that year. We didn't get as many new accounts, but we still grew the accounts we did have and came out of it with their respect. I had read that you think it's really important to speak about business at the, at the table or with the kids so that they hear it from a young age and they're exposed to a different side of their mom and dad rather than just, you know, mom and dad who do the laundry and cook dinner. I think it just started happening and it, it's often not just around the dinner table, but um, it could also happen in the car, on carpools, because we get a lot of questions, not just from our own kids, but also um, from kids that know that we run Hint. And I think it's teaching our daughters that you can actually run a company about an issue that you're passionate about. I also think, in terms of my sons, I see, I mean, I've, I've been quoted as saying that I think my sons will be the best employees, especially if they're working for women ever, because they've been <laughs> raised around That'd an right. environment where there is no difference, right? I mean, so many males that I think are in the workforce have not had strong female role models. It's true of a lot of things in our lives and the business. We're trying to teach people to teach the children to kind of get involved, like if there's something they want to change. Would you ever consider selling to one of the big companies that you've been competing with potentially? Our key focus today is to grow this company and grow this category. If you were to talk to strategic people inside some of those large companies, they're all trying to save the mothership, as I say. If you're working for Dasani Water, for example, which is another Coke brand, um, that's not what the focus is. And, you know, and even Honest Tea and Vitamin Water and some of the others, um, they're, they're not getting that focus that, um, that as a small young brand they would get. This couple knows how to juggle work, four kids, and a growing business. But just how well do they stack up in our quick fire round? What was the best lesson you've learned from each other? Getting things done, but making sure that we've looked at all angles. Kara really showed me that there are all sorts of different kind of people in the world, and uh, some of them can't do everything you think you want them to do, but if you find the one thing they're really good at, they might have a place where they could be really helpful. What's the quality that you most admire about your partner? Attention to detail. <laughs> <laughs> Persistence. For Kara, no means maybe, maybe means yes. If you could do absolutely anything else, what would you do? I think I'd be a teacher and I someday hope to be. I'd say do something that helps people better themselves 
and disrupt an industry.